to the Nong Geek Techie YouTube channel. My name is Isabella and I am the founder of uh, Nong Geek Techie. In this video I will show you how to use this webcam which is the Logitech 920 and is a fantastic HD camera with a screen flow. This camera was created originally for Windows uh, and it may give a little bit of problems if you use it with a Mac. It is still possible to use it with a Mac uh, but we will have to get a few tweaks. Uh, specifically, I will tell you about the app that you will have to purchase separately. If you don't want to purchase a separate camera or you don't have an iPad or a tablet or you don't have an iPhone or a smartphone and you want to keep the costs down, for example, you are just starting out with videos, this could be a good option. I specifically use this camera mostly with webinars and Google Hangouts, but if you want, you can record yourself using screen flow using this camera. There are a few tweaks that you will have to implement and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this is my screen, of course I'm not gonna use screen flow because otherwise it's not going to work. First thing I'm going to do is to get uh, the camera and we place it uh, behind uh, the laptop. I tend to use a tripod and then we get uh, this uh, and we put it uh, where there is the USB port uh, so basically you plug it in you will see that now I've plugged it in and nothing is changing uh, it's not that the camera is not working it is perfectly working uh, but we need basically to tweak a few things uh, for it to start uh, recording the image so the first thing that we do is to go and uh, open screen flow. I tend to keep screen flow in here in the dock uh, so please don't use this to open screen flow at this stage uh, use uh, this uh, icon or if you have it basically in the launch pad so I click here on the icon and you will see that here we got screen flow appearing uh, we go on file you click uh, and you go on new empty document uh, here you can choose uh, the resolution of the video. I prefer to do basically full HD, but if you want you can do also 720 or even lower resolution. I like to do, you know, proper good resolution. So I leave it here, or you can also customize it. And then you click on create. You will see that this window appears and there's nothing on, which is perfectly okay. You minimize it, so click basically here. And now we go to Safari. So here we got still screen flow. You have to click on Safari and you will see that here it changes. And we go on the icon, so the screen flow icon here on Safari. Click on here and we go on configure recording. And you will see that now I appear. So the camera has been activated and is picking me up. However, the color is not that great, I look blue, <laughs> which is not very nice, let's face it. So what we do now, we use this app, which is called Webcam Setting, and I got it from the App Store. It's not exactly cheap because it's about uh, €6.50, so you know, it's not the cheapest app, but uh, I mean, I cannot uh, get uh, something with this bad quality. So. I never found any other solution so basically we now go on this icon here which is the equivalent of the webcam setting we click first of all we choose the correct camera which is not the FaceTime FaceTime is the built-in camera of the uh, Mac but we go for this one which is the Logitech then we go back and we go with the show webcam setting panel and we go to basic what works for me you may have to tweak it in a different way is I go here and basically I move this white balance temperature and I make it go towards this yellow symbol you would see that the quality of the picture is significantly better so you know you decide how warm you want it usually I go around this Okay, now you leave both open. You will say, hang on, why? Well, I will show you, it will make sense pretty quickly. Now we have to go back to screen flow. 
So we use again this icon, not this, so go back here. It changes to screen flow, you move it this a little bit here, and you go to file and add additional recording. You click and you get this window. The most important thing here is to untick record desktop from your color LCD and that's because if we tick this and we press record it will record the um, screen as well and it will record this we don't want that so untick it and also with regards to the microphone well you can basically get uh, all the microphone of this camera which in all honesty is not that great or you can also get an external microphone. I tend to use a Samsung, which I will show you later. Usually I do that, I use the external microphone, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I decided you know, to keep it very simple. And also you make sure that you are recording the video from this camera and you click record. Okay, now screen flow is starting. And you will notice that this is pitch black. If you don't have this window, you will not be in a position to monitor what you are doing. Also because with this window, which is the one of the app, we can, for example, use the zoom. So, you know, you can zoom back or you can zoom up. So this will give you the possibility to you know, tweak things a little bit. Uh, I must say that the functionality with the Mac is not that great. Also because, as I said, the Logitech camera was created for Windows, which I think is shocking. <laughs> In 2014, we still have uh, um, technological things that are not compatible with Mac. But leaving that aside, uh, and also, you know, uh, with this, so you can basically play around uh, with, uh, well, here it doesn't do that much, I must say. Usually I don't use it uh, here. If you want, uh, is it here? Yeah, you can change basically the uh, backlight compensation. I personally don't like to do it because I think that it loses a little bit of resolution. But then, you know, it depends basically on what you want to do. Now it is recording and basically I can see what I am doing. Uh, especially if, uh, for example, you want to uh, zoom uh, something. So I'm now getting this highlighter and I can actually do something like this. And you know, if I've got this, I can check whether it is showing up properly or not. And these are all little things that make the quality of the video fundamentally better. Okay, now what do we do? Uh, well, uh, let's pretend that we finished out the uh, recording. Of course, always try to look at the camera because if I'm looking here, you can see that my eyes are not pointing at the viewers. The best thing is always to look at the viewers in the eyes. So look at the camera, not basically on your screen. Of course, sometimes you will look down to see what's going on, but do not always look here because otherwise you will have a video that is like this, which is not very engaging. So now let's pretend that I finished filming. To stop the recording, you go uh, here on File, New Recording, and it says Recording already in progress. Okay, stop recording. Uh, yes, okay. You can create a new one. And here now I've got the recording. So I can close this now because I'm not going to use it. And this is basically screen flow. Have you will notice that uh, this is pitch black? If you don't have this window, you will not be in a position to monitor what you are doing. Also because with this window, which is the one of... So you can see that I was looking at the camera, so basically now it will come out with me looking at the viewer. And also here you can do the usual editing and then basically you can export it. For example, on movies or basically on YouTube or wherever you want to go. So this is, uh, you know, in very simple steps, uh, how it actually works. Uh, so you can see that it's pretty straightforward. This is a great uh, little uh, camera. I tend to use it mostly with uh, Google Hangouts. I mean, I film a lot of webinars and this one uh, makes the quality of the video much, much, much better. 
I purchased it on Amazon, it has the best prices and um, I am gonna put the link in the description box to the link of this camera. I've looked at prices in other websites and I must say that uh, Amazon has got the best price. I bought it in Europe, I mean in Italy, and I paid it, uh, it was 65 euros in Prime and basically I took them about three days to deliver it by UPS. I saw that it's sold also in France, in Germany, in uh, the UK and also of course in the US uh, and again the price in the US is about just over $60 so it's really really reasonable so you can see that it's very very small I tend to use a tripod but you can also use it without uh, before I was talking about the uh, USB microphone this is the one basically this is a Samsung I've got a review and I've tested out, so if you want to check out uh, a microphone that is not going to cost the earth, uh, this could be a very good option. So it goes to show that uh, even if you don't have a massive budget, uh, with about $150 fundamentally, you can get pretty decent tools uh, to film quality videos. Uh, um, the content of course is important, but you always want to get something that is visually pleasant, so basically something that is going to get the video at least in HD. I mean, you can use of course also the camera of your laptop, but uh, it's not the same basically, it doesn't film in, uh, in Super HD like this one. And also with regards to the microphone, I mean there are several on the market, I've tried a few also more expensive than this and I must say that my preference is for the Samsung. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and most of all that it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.